welcome back. Yes, we had just left Javik's room. Yes. <laughs> yes. Because he was on his on his wild stuff again. On his on his wild truths. Because <laughs> he was keeping it a buck. Can't take it away from him. Was, I mean, it's, he, it's he was there. It's it it, it you can uh, you know you call it toxic if you want. Call it call it this. Call it that. But if it's, if he's spitting truth, he's spitting truth. Can't take it away from him. Like I said, did did they not used to eat flies? <laughs> did they not just learn how to write? Where's the lie? Show me that it's not a lie. Show me it's so a lie. So condescending. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, that's what it is. That's what it is. Uh, yeah. So you did like start to talk it to people on the the upper and lower. Um, I was also having some thoughts in the downtime, as as you do. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you've ever, you know, <laughs> yes, if you ever had. <laughs> Oh, thoughts, you know, they go, they go. <laughs> I mean, ab- about, like, this game and this world and stuff in the in the, in the the downtime. But, uh, oh yeah, Normandy Radio. Uh, I've, I had one of my infamous thoughts, and uh, it was that, uh, you know, it feels like, so, humanity has, uh, we've had our fair share of genocides throughout human history. Oh, yeah, that happens. It feels like when we hit the space age, not to say that it's gotten out of our system, but like, oh, think about like all the council races, and it's yeah. like direct participation or are complicit in genocidal actions, right? And then you think of like the uh, quote unquote non council races, and you're like, Those also definitely. complicit in genocide in many fun. ways. Not, not all of them, right? I guess if we exclude the. Um, I don't know the the goofy races. <laughs> Cause, <laughs> goofy, because you can probably break down the you can, you got your council races, and then your lesser races, uh-huh. and of the lesser category, you can break it down into the goofy and non-goofy types. <laughs> and so, if you exclude the non-goofies, or if you include the non-goofies and exclude the goofy, uh, you get a uh, you know a healthy gathering of. Races that in space are all complicit in genocidal activity. And humanity is like, damn, we just got here. What's going on? You know what I mean? So genocide, not goofing around. <laughs> you're you're busy doing stuff. Oh, like, like 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 okay. Like the, the, the basically the bipeds, you know what I mean, is what it kinda comes down to. Like the, the, the bipeds are, are all responsible or complicit, and humans are like Again, it's not that we got it out of our system, but like, because like the corpse and exogeny and all those places are like super down to keep that shit going. But I guess like the council or the, the, the humans that are in charge so far have not been like getting, they have not, they have not yet participated in a space genocide. Right. Um, and it's low level. We don't right? talk about Shepard's uh, arrival button. We just, you know. Wow, this is loud. It's pretty loud. <laughs> Just drown out the thoughts. <laughs> yeah, all right. If it was lower, yeah. I would let it rock, but this is very... <laughs> Maybe there's something yeah. more. Uh, no, it's 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 just uh, it's it's a, it's a thought that's just kind of born from like like all these like all the authorities and then the Batarians and even the Quarians and you know the Turians and, and all like like technically the Asari we from what we've seen yet like they've just kind of agreed to it, mm-hmm. but like they're per- they're actively engaging in one if you consider their reproduction it system. Would require strengthening exercises. Get muscles to well, support weaker bone structure. Dude. Right. Yeah. Alloy of Edie's body not flexible like organic tissue could cause unintentional damage. Recommend pillows. Okay, that's a little weird, but yeah, all right, cushions. Positioning critical to success. Can forward Edie charts videos with relevant data. No, 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 let's let's uh uh Edie's pretty busy with, you know, stuff. Let's 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 send that just send that to me. Uh you're not gonna tell anyone about this, right? Like like Shepard, Shepard doesn't really need to know. Guarantee Shepard will learn about it. He's looking at me. Amazing. (laughs) I wish I wasn't. (laughs) 
<laughs> They're trying to make it work, you know? Uh... Oh my god, I have to stop this music. <laughs> it's pretty loud. It's unfortunately loud and it's hard to hear. The bits, the and bit... it makes everything less serious than yeah, it should be. It, it, the fun bit, but unfortunately their dialogue is getting drowned out by it. Yeah. Jeez, okay. I'm sorry for interrupting, Morden. So you got some Dakimakuras for us? Is that what you're saying? Eve ready for travel to Tuchanka. What was he saying? <laughs> I think he was trying to talk about like the physiology of Edie and Joker together. And yeah. he was like, maybe pillows, some gel could help. Okay, yeah. all right. Just trying to figure it out. <laughs> okay, good luck. Oh my gosh. Uh, we've seen all of that, right? Um. Yeah, I don't know that there's uh, new there. Nice talking with you, Morden. We'll be here if you need me. Continuing to study Shroud in meantime. Hmm. Yeah, that's right. That's what you were doing, right? Am I just gonna make you stand up for no reason again? I forget who we spoke to and who we didn't Something speak else, to Commander. after. Unfortunately. I think uh, you spoke to most people on the top and bottom floors. Okay, so I'm in the middle right now. Yeah. Yeah, I think we did these two, though. Been treating you? Better than Krogan males do. He's not like a typical celebrity. Yeah, so stuff, we right? did this, we did this, yeah, yeah. Um, Thanks for talking to me. Yeah. Let's it's get my that pleasure. Volume Commander. up a little bit more. There we go, let's see how this does. Nobody here? Yeah. Yeah, but it, it, again, it, it, like, it feels like the the there was a deliberate decision, like from a setting level to like make everyone's hands dirty. Yeah, everyone's hands no are one's dirty. Clean. No one's clean. No one's if you clean. consider again, if you consider what the Asari's like main fucking reproduction like goal is, it's it's a slow rolling genocide of the entire galaxy, really. <laughs> you know, so even they're still doing All it. All blue. Softly, do small, at a medium pace. My good friend wouldn't hide the fact that his people planted a doomsday bomb on my planet, right? Rex, I Oof. was just as much in the dark as you, honest. <laughs> That's what I needed to hear. Just making you sweat, Garrus. Wasn't sure you could. You're always so calm. I'd be happy to give Krogan some lessons on relaxing. <laughs> and we'd be happy to feed you to a thresher maw. Rick's out. <laughs> and next time, Shepard, don't let him near the intercom. Uh, God damn it. Case in point. Right? Whew. Case in point. Man. Rex, you can't go around making people sweat like that. Man. It, Come like, on. It, it all depends on you. <laughs> this whole thing is on you, dude. You're the only one we can trust. It goes immediate. It's so horribly wrong without you. <laughs> and and you're like fucking around and being like, ah, oh, just getting your goat. You know what I mean? <laughs> Elbow in the ribs. Like, oh, yeah. Dude. The galaxy is sweating because not everyone knows you. We know you. Holy shit. If we don't know Rex, like, all are the, st the stereotypes are just right? Oh, boy. Planet Kraken is back on the menu, boys. <laughs> like, it's fucked, man. Rex, please hold it down. Damn it, Rex. Want. Chill. <laughs> Come on. I don't know what Turian came up with the idea, but a doomsday bomb was damned ingenious. Garrus, please. Embarrassing now, but ingenious back then. Yes, it's mostly embarrassing. It was still embarrassing back then. You just didn't get caught yet. I'm glad Rex is taking this so well. My people haven't exactly treated his kind with charity over the years. That's one way to put it. Good to see you. Good to see you too. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, we kind of did them yeah. dirty. And then you're like, yo, what if we could get the forefathers to give us their opinions on modern day issues? <laughs> and one of them wakes up out of cold sleep is like, you guys didn't pull the trigger? <laughs> like... <laughs> You should have you should have genocided everybody. Oh wait! Teach them, show them how it's done. And you're like, oh no! Put him back, <laughs> put him back in the sleep. You didn't hear anything. That doesn't count. Founding father, go back in the tomb. <laughs> okay. 
What about your terminal? Nothing new here? What about you? I've never seen Krogan move with such purpose. It's a little terrifying. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for coming by. Alright. That's it for now. Jeez. <sighs> Okie doke. That's it for that floor. <laughs> Four score and seven years ago, we were cleansing out the zoo. <laughs> Alright, Grandpa. <laughs> Commander. Keep up the good work, trainer. Now let's see if Joker can still walk. Just like open the door, like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to interrupt. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, okay, first of all, this is a cockpit. This is piloting the goddamn ship. <laughs> If you're gonna go fucking, if you're gonna go fuck around, please take it to another room. <laughs> the autopilot is great. It's just one of Edie's processes. She's you know? everywhere. All right, take it somewhere else. God damn it, <laughs> uh, Edie. Hello, Shepard. Hello, Commander. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing, nothing is happening here, huh? Okay. They have cameras at the beginning of this hallway. They know. <laughs> Here they hear the footsteps. War room. <sighs> we probably said something to Rex on the way uh, back on the ship, right? Elevator. Nope. 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 No, in the um. Commander. Yeah. Tweedledee and Tweedledum. <sighs> Hello. Hello. Need something, Shepard? Uh, no, nothing. That's it for now, right? What was Let's the female Krogan line? Again? Anytime. Whoops. Need something, Shepard? Need something, Shepard? Back on Circash, it looked like the female Krogan. Was it the, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 that's it. Like, yeah, she was, she's tough. Yeah. Okay, right, right, right. The females like to talk about it. Then... Yeah, 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 there you go. <laughs> yeah, but they have some. So sometimes I pretend to live. <laughs> yeah. That's it for now, Rex. Sitcom, sitcom, Rex. Anytime. And you there. Uh, yeah, your son is Dunzo. Yes, Commander. Hey, man. He did. He clutched it out in the end. Despite everything, Primarch. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you, Commander. And I know I'm not the first. To lose their son to this war. Probably not the last. Needless to say, I'm committed to stopping the Reapers. That's all. Of course, Commander. There we go. Okay. Well, at least he's not, again, looking for a place to die, you know? Commander. Probably Campbell. And I guess that would be most of the stuff. Now we gotta fucking sit down with that Dalatras at some point. Oh, that's gonna be fun. And just be like... You know? Nothing here. Alright. Let's see. The sound of hamina 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 in a high Salarian pitch. <laughs> oh, we got stuff to deliver? Okay, the Citadel stuff. Oh, there's a bunch of, yeah, there's a bunch of Citadel deliveries you've been uh, collecting. Um, I want to find this, because it seems pretty important for the ship. Uh, uh, the thermal pipe? Yeah. Uh, I think he said that, like, if we don't have one, and there's a big shock, shock to the ship, then there's going to be a lot of plasma fire mm -hmm. in their area, and I don't want them to, to be cooked like that. Any clues as to... I have no Where idea to get what it, it is yeah. on the Citadel. Okay. Maybe in a, in a, in a shop somewhere. somewhere or maybe somewhere. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, huh. Hmm. Okay, okay. Um, so priority is to Chanka. That would move us forward. There's Citadel stuff. Uh, a lot of sleeper missions. Our yeah. Korgan scouting team has gone missing. Oh, yeah, there was that, too. You want to do that? Uh, Attic Traverse? Yeah. Yeah. I'd be down to that. Uh, 
That's uh, that's a Rex one. Okay, yeah. Let's go see what's going on with the Ragnar. Maybe a queen has something to say to us. And there is Cordex stuff. We can check that later. Uh, the cure can wait. <laughs> the cure can wait. Race for the cure. Just. All right. Where do we go? A little bit. A little bit slowly. Uh, boy. They're 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 camping out, uh -huh. huh? They're posted up. Uh -huh. <laughs> they're eyeballing you, just heads tilted. <laughs> What's good, nigga? <laughs> What's really good? Oh, you coming by this way? Don't you know your hood? <laughs> they're posted up. Is, is this it? Damn. Do I have to go where they are right now? Damn. We in the streets play a get your mail. <laughs> Mailbox is full. <laughs> <laughs> Just letters sticking out. Of them. <laughs> Looking through the window. Uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. <laughs> oh, is this a spot? gas on the go? Oh my god. Yeah, I'm in trouble. System one. Okay. A few planets around. Big rings over there. Kef. Kef. Kef is a hydrogen helium gas giant. Records show that the planet should have uh, helium-3 mining infrastructure, but scans find nothing of the sort. There are neither abnormal heat sources nor space junk from destroyed refineries. If the infrastructure was removed, it was removed entirely and within the last year. I oh, don't forget the scanning mechanic. Yeah, but yeah, well, uh, or <laughs> or do or do. Hey, what's up? Inakos is a metallic asteroid. The surface was once rated for its abundant olivine, which is used for carbon sequestration on heavily populated worlds. More than half the mass of the asteroid has been now depleted, exposing its relatively pure iron nickel core. Just fucking calling in the Pac-Man ghosts. <laughs> okay, okay, all right. What about you have not yet eaten the the MacGuffin fruit that lets you chase the the ghosts back. You know? Maldor. The Krogan surveying team that first reported back from Maldor said, in characteristic understatement, that the planet had a bit of good, the good stuff if you could get past a little acid. Although Maldor's mineral wealth includes uranium, iridium, and other heavy metals, miners must contend with crushing gravity at an atmosphere, boiling temperatures, and clouds of sulfur dioxide. As such, once the planet's most accessible ores were depleted, the mining interests that exploited the planet quickly departed. Kidoko, kidoko. Big acid. Utuku. Uh, although Utuku is habitable, extreme temperatures and violent weather have, have discouraged colonization. Because the planet has little liquid water to retain heat, surface temperatures regularly oscillate between 70 Celsius and minus 60 degrees Celsius. Utuku's vegetation is notable for having evolved flexible central stalks to survive high-speed winds as well as leathery leaves to shrug off the planet's frequent sandstorms. Animal life is mostly confined to the planet's small oceans. Utuku has few valuable minerals. Celsius gang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah, we exported the right shit. <laughs> when it came to asking the rest of the of the galaxy about comparable temperatures, we used the right unit. Could you imagine America molding? Just fucking going to the Citadel like so Fahrenheit though, and every alien race is like, what? Why? What's the logic behind this? <laughs> oh. Uh Okay, well, we're going in. Uh huh. Uh, who would be good? Um, decent, uh, decent, decent partners. Garris. Javik or Garrus? Javik or Garrus? <laughs> well, top player. 
two top players. How about that? We can do that. They're pretty similar in structure and stature. Javik is like, oh, that's a poser. <laughs> he looks the, the part, but... Ah, yes. And, uh... In the meantime, <laughs> there was... Go there was... <laughs> there was this little bit. How about this? <laughs> like that? <laughs> just stretch it out in front of... Just, mm, look at... Oh, this armor is great. <laughs> it's real flexible. <laughs> On the floor with one leg, I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> I see you, Shepard. I see what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. I have used similar tactics. <laughs> He gets it. He doesn't like it, but he gets it. Oh, that was a nice one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's rock that. And yeah, we'll keep that one too. Unless I want to put in a shotgun instead. Now nah, let's be light. Let's be light. I need. I want to use those powers. Um. Showed up to pools finals with a, a stick made of your dead homie's skin. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Good leather. <laughs> it's comfortable. All right, it's comfortable. It's the hitbox. It had, had the the feeling the feeling on your wrists. I'm sorry. It's just it's what it's it's the tactical play. <laughs> yeah, you can hold that and hold that too. Everyone on the good stuff. Yeah. So yeah, you you picked up um, some great weapons. You picked up uh, your your non reloaders. You picked up your beam. You picked up your um, uh, exploder, and then of course there was just the uh, the um, recharge weight thing. Um, but it was what was it? you? So you grabbed alongside the collector. Uh, you know, never mind. Whatever, it's fine. Okay, I feel like uh, there's um, we can scroll through it and see. Uh, yeah, I feel like you also picked up another like former heavy weapon that's or something like that. I, I'm, I'm remembering. Health and armor damage. Squad make is your armor power at fifty percent effectiveness. Huh. Which one is... Squad mates gain your ammo power at 50% effectiveness, or... So if I put, like, incendiary, they get 50% incendiary? Yeah. Uh, hopefully and this it is health detonates. And armor damage by 6%. Which one is more damage? I mean, the effect would be good, right, for combos? The stack would probably be pretty good for combos. Okay, so I should take this one. Then. I think it sounds better. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. And you chill it's, for now. It's a larger percentage, and it's gonna, like, because you know how, like, let's say you increase crit in a, in a game, and it's like two percent to three percent, right, or something like that. It's like yes, but you're gonna be experiencing that possibility every second, mm. right? Um, and like them getting those bullets up, it's like yeah, they're constantly shooting, so they're using that extra fifty every time. So confirm. Yeah. Any updates, Shepard? Our backup is waiting for us at the drop point. Arlac Company, Groving Commandos. That's correct, Shepard. They are an accomplished unit. Their decisive action in liberating a colony from Batarian pirates made them famous. Ooh. Good to hear. Other than that, there's been no word from a team of Krogan scouts since they went through the Rachni relay. Understandable. In my cycle, we use the Rachni as living weapons. Uh. Weapons? <laughs> what? They were only animals then. Without technology, violent but useful. Of course. When they became a problem, we burned 200 worlds to stop them. We don't know much, but no Rachni activity has been reported. It doesn't make sense. We let that last Rachni queen live on the condition she disappear forever. She wouldn't risk everything to start a war. Just be ready for anything. Footnote. Footnote lore detail. <laughs> that happened. <laughs> Yeah, shuttle just arrived. You better get moving, Team Two. Yeah. See anything? Let me know. Grunt. What's good? <laughs> Battle <Sure>. Master. 
What are you doing here? Got everything you need? I could ask you the same question. Didn't those idiots lock you up? They did. Put me in lockdown to keep the Patarians off me. Didn't want problems with the Council while they prepared for war. But the situation changed. Yeah, they got bigger problems, all right. That's why I'm out here running Arlac Company. They're tough, ah. like they're invincible. Reckless, but effective. Get paid. Also, Javik's been sniffing your room, and it's been making him tougher. <laughs> he might come snoof snoofing around. Let it happen. Grunt's like, look at him. Let him sniff. <laughs> he looks like he's worth it. <laughs> right on the seam. Sounds familiar, Grunt. How did you go from being new and unproven to your own command? Yeah, wasn't easy. When Rex put Arlac Company together, he needed a leader who represented the future of our species. Thanks to you, I completed my rite of passage on Tachanka and became part of Clan Erdnot. Yeah. I was an equal. And being the strongest, I was chosen to lead this honored company. I bet some didn't like a tank-bred Krogan being in charge. I collected a few scars earning my place here. These Krogan respect me. He really does look young in the face by comparison. Yeah. You know, you can see the... I was gonna say, I never realized how beautiful his eyes were. I think that's the new model for this game. Okay. I, I think we're seeing a new grunt compared to last time. I see. It's, it's, it's notable. Alright, well, good to have you here, buddy. I can trust you. You were a pain in the ass, grunt. But if you're Krogan or half the soldier you are, we might make it out of here. Eh, <laughs> glad you're here to crack some heads, Shepard. Hard to believe this might be Rachni. Seems crazy. The Rachni. A chance to face the old enemy? <laughs> Impossible to resist. Yes, you are the one. The Krogan who occupied my quarters on the Normandy. You left your mark everywhere. What? Who is this, Shepard? <laughs> you shouldn't be so anxious to face the Rachni. They were formidable opponents, even to my people. Ask me later. <laughs> he snoofed you. <sighs> Whatever you say. We don't know if the Rachni had anything to do with this. We're here to find the scouts. I didn't see any signs of activity during our approach. Agreed. But this place smells wrong. Like a bad wound. Our scans show the tunnels down there lead to a large central point. If we're lucky, it's a nest. Sounds like fun. Just like old times, Grunt. <laughs> Our luck company! Move out! Feels like there was Grab a what moment. You need, Shepard. Meet me at the scout camp ahead. Sounds good. Yeah, I feel like there's moments where you can kind of feel or see the seams, even like a little a slight lighting change in the cut where it's like, Shepard, run up. Load, load, load. You helped me join Clan or not back on Tachanka. That was awesome. Load, load, load. Rachni. <laughs> but not actually. It's like, that's what, you know, it's it's way smoother than that. But it, that easily could have been like, yeah, I never got to join the clan. You didn't give me the time of day. But fine, we got bigger fish to fry. Rachni. <laughs> yeah, and they're like, oh yeah, you can see, you can see it. You can see the little the stitching. Alright, let's uh, look around just in case. Flashlight? Flashlight. Can you still do that? Um, I don't know. Oh, I thought there was a flashlight button in the in the tutorial. L3 does nothing. Back. R3 is objective. Back. Yeah, nothing. okay. Alright, never mind. Oh, hello. Pistol high caliber barrel and M300 Claymore. Change loadout? How does that look? Uh, shoddy. Shoddy too hardy? Whoa, that's heavy. Damn. That's the heaviest thing I've seen yet, I think, but the damage on it looks crazy. Low capacity. Do I dare? Uh, one shot? Jesus Christ. 
One shot. Better make it count. <laughs> Holy fuck. One shot? Big On number. Shotgun? Big number. Big reloads. That's wild. I mean. That's like a sniper rifle. Aim, aim true. Okay. And I have no weapon mods available for these. Or maybe I can't change them here. Oh boy. Are we trying this? I mean. All right. It's, it's, it's a good YOLO. This is swag. <laughs> All right. Info is good. Uh, let's hope. Okay, I only have the collector then. Interesting. What about mods? Uh, I'm not accessible. I think maybe like while I'm on the field, maybe it's not something I can do. Okay. I'm a bit light with only the collector, by the way. But let's see how it goes. Confirm. I could pick up that knife. It would be useful. <laughs> how, does, how does it even look? Alright. I got no, 9 bullets. Shotgun that deals tremendous close range damage. The base camp has been decimated. The Krogan are overconfident. It's their weakness. Analyzing the players on the field. Weapon bench. So I guess I can change if worse comes to worse. Uh, you're probably not going to get it quick opportunity to run back here and do that though right these missions move forward wait hold on aha now i can add the mods okay even more damage <laughs> um increases melee damage piercer spare shot capacity reduce weapon weight that would be useful too how does that sound Okay. And now. Oh, that is not a pass. Okay. Hello. Ready, Shepard. We're right behind you. Uh, find tunnel entrance. Can I talk to you or should I look in this room first? <laughs> it's always it's a quick game. save and men yeah. you know, back button. You know. You ready to go? Investigate. Hey, what have you been up to actually? What did you do after the collectors were defeated? <sighs> I spent most of my time back on Tachanka learning what it was to be Krogan. In the lab where I was created, the lessons were like fighting with practice weapons. They had no bite, no impact. I needed the blood and pain. I made mistakes, but I learned. Arlac Company? Tell me more about this company. Arlac means Eye of Wrath. We are named after the fierce Tichanka son. Rex handpicked us from different clans to show a united Krogan. Oh. We were sent because we're the strongest. I was going to ask. Everyone's wearing different armor. They look a bit different. Too. That is deliberate. Damn. Damn. Diplomacy. All right, he's doing it. Yeah. He's doing it. Uh, Krogan Scouts. What happened to the scouting party? Looks like something dropped half their camp down a hole. Their shuttle must have been lost as well. They weren't going anywhere. Doesn't matter. We're here to find the Rachni and right. burn them out. Hmm. What about the Rachni? Did Warlord Okir imprint anything on you about the Rachni during your creation? Okir ensured I knew of the Rachni. They are respected as an enemy. Everyone thought they were dead, defeated by the Krogan. 
You prove that wrong. If they're here, my blood demands they die. Okay, well, just give us a chance to talk to mommy first. And see what's up. You just give us a second, okay? Alright, let's get going. Finally, right behind you, Shepard. Okay, we got, we got, we got good people in high places, you know? Oh, you got a cool suit. Yeah. Nah, man. That's pretty smart. Rex putting together the, uh, the 90s, uh, Olympic All-Star team. Oh, fuck! Bruh! Don't tell me I'm alone. Everyone all right? Okay. Shepard! You in one piece? Looks like we're all okay. Keep in radio contact. On our way! Yeah. Forcing, uh, Jordan, Bird, and Barkley to work together. <laughs> you know? He's doing it. That's how you, that's how you fucking create that, that fucking piece. Smart. And you know who coaches them? I see it. Bobby Knight! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, All right, got a body of a scout here. Been dead a few days. Yeah, if he has his weapon, grab it. You won't need it anymore. Mm. It's gonna make me heavier. <laughs> <laughs> Does this gun make my ass look fat? <laughs> Looks like it. All right, we got some particle effects going. Oh yeah, didn't the, the rack and I probably hate fire? That's 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 a thing. All right. They're bugs. This darkness is going to make it a little harder, Shepard. Yeah, you don't say. Agreed. Everybody be ready. If you guys are attacking, it means you're not in contact with the mother, right? Because the mother's cool with me. Yeah, we're friends, right? Therefore. Well, what the <laughs> Anybody catch that? Confirmed. Okay. Right. Oh, oh boy. boy, yo, alien, alien aliens. Pods. Let's go, go Ripley on their ass. Get back here, you bitch. <laughs> Let's go. Oh boy. Okay, okay, but if they're friendly, then I shouldn't shoot them or annoy them. Oh boy. We need to be cautious. They're dangerous. Maybe. Oh, are we doing? You're going aliens? Okay. Okay. Well. All right, we cook him. I don't know, man. I I would have I would have waited to. But maybe when you make it to the maybe it's one of those things where you get to the exit and then they jump on you, you know. But right now they're just eggs. Don't go, Shepard. Reaper technology. Maybe. And remember, fucking Javix is like, eh, two eggs, 200 billion. <laughs> like, yeah, if I get close, they pop. They okay. pop anyways, yeah. Okay. Ow, ow, ow. And they, they hit shields. Oh, this looks big and open. How about the other way? Aha! More ammo. We come in peace! You go in pieces! Are you a cyber rifle? Yeah! Yo, what's going on? Yeah! Okay, okay, okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up. That Rachna is dressed. Ravager. Ah. Dark channel this guy. Then I'm gonna... No, no, don't change the power. It's almost like someone is using them as a weapon. Jeez. Hide, hide. Oh, word? That was my cooldown. 
Oh, you son of a... Ooh, Can ooh. you charge? Thank you. Okay, okay. Just cook him, cook him, cook him. I'll look across the gap. Okay. Reapers made some modifications. Yeah. Right. Rachni presence confirmed. Modified. Very dangerous. Definitely something to kill. Nothing here yet. Lost a Krogan to a sinkhole. Bad way to go. No good. The breeding ground must be here. Reapers are protecting an asset of great significance. So here we go. Mark it. Uh, January uh, 19th, 2023. Um, the, the speed of memes has traveled as such so that now that you're holding that flamethrower, we can introduce the meme, let him cook. <laughs> Didn't hold exist up, hold before. Up, hold up. Let him cook. Exists now. And here we are. <laughs> All right. And however this this plays back years from now, just know that this is the first instance of the let him cook meme on the channel. Because that has just become a thing. For posterity. Oh boy. Look at this. No question Reapers have been here. Agreed. Let's find out why. Oh, this is progress? Did I skip something over there? Or did I <laughs> hug the wall? Oh my gosh. <sighs> I'm a fool. Well, I'm going to keep on cooking them. They're trying to take my stove away. Yeah, Woody. yeah. No, no. Woody would approve. They're trying to take my stove away. Uh oh, no, no, no. Don't, don't, don't. I thought that was a yo way to pass. No, yeah. don't go headlong. Too far. There we it's go. their fault that their method of reproduction is also an attack. <laughs> Blocked, Shepard. Copy that. How are we getting by this? No, block, I said. Learn to block. <laughs> attack? <laughs> Push the buttons? <laughs> Javi, what button is block? Just defend. <laughs> uh, Reaper node. Uh huh. Well, I guess that's that. That did it. Okay. The Reapers find use in the spiders. Run! Our exit is cut off. Looks like we're finding another way out of here. Come on. What was that noise, Shepard? Sounded bad. Cave in. We're all right. Good. Didn't want to dig you out. That hurts my feelings, Grunt. Yeah, yeah. Come on. I hate that all this way in the future, sinkholes are still a problem. Fuck those things. Oh, do you think that wiring on the ground is like Reaper tubing? Yeah. Going into the eggs? Yeah, probably. More webbing. Alright, well, they cleared a path. In the air. And it lo loops back, right? Okay. Yeah. Although, the evidently not clear enough. Reaper Tech? Tim's gonna be jealous. Hey boy, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Talking shit while scared of a few spiders, Shepard. Look out! <laughs> oh, blow it up! Blamzo.
Couldn't Javik just use, like, his Dark Rift to, like, kill an egg and then, like, let the damage pass on to each one because they're all pretty weak? Wooly versus the algorithm.